I've been a full-time artist for nearly five years and over that time I've learned so much about the art industry and myself as an artist and there'd definitely be some things that I wish I could tell myself when I was starting out as a beginner artist that I think would just make everything just so much easier going through this journey. And so I thought in today's video, it would really be fun to go through the five things that I would tell myself as a beginner artist. Hey everybody, my name is Kirsty, and my aim is to help you improve your drawing skills so that you can create art that you are really proud of. And in this video, I'm going to go through some things that I think would have helped me out as a beginner artist so that hopefully, for those of you that are also starting out with your art journey, you can have a couple of bits of advice that will help make your start to your art journey a lot easier as well. So let's dive straight in. The first thing that I would tell myself as a beginner artist is that it's perfectly okay to draw from photos and references. This is a big one that I struggled with when I started out as a beginner artist because I think this leads back to school. I had this art teacher where she would only really praise you if you drew something from life. So if you were directly looking at the object as you were drawing it, if you drew from a photo, even if it was a really good drawing, she just wouldn't give you any credit for that. And I remember she set this homework where she wanted us to do a self portrait whilst looking at ourselves. So I was sitting at home with a mirror holding it in one hand and trying to draw on my lap in the other hand. And I remember just trying to draw my eye for about four hours, just trying to look back and forth between this mirror and the paper. And I'd, I was so frustrated because I just looked back and forth and I wasn't able to do any sort of proportions and I really struggled with it. I've come to realize that this was just one artist's opinion. She obviously didn't like drawing from photos and she wanted everything drawn from life to her. That was the proper way of doing things. But that doesn't mean that she's right or that that's a rule that you should have to follow. There's nothing wrong with drawing from photos or references. Many artists do it. So I definitely tell myself this as a beginner artist so that I wouldn't worry or feel so guilty when drawing from references because I definitely did at the start when I was drawing animals and I would draw from a photo, I'd think, well, is it not as good because I didn't draw it from life and because I've, I've got a reference here? And it shouldn't be that way. You shouldn't let another artist's opinion make you feel bad or guilty about what you're doing. Everyone has their opinions, but that doesn't mean that their opinions are more valid than your opinions or that it should stop you doing what you want to do. Okay, the next thing that I tell myself is that even really experienced artists make bad drawings and make mistakes sometimes. When I was a beginner artist, I definitely thought that if I did a bad drawing, then I just wasn't a good artist. I look at Instagram where most artists would only post their like best drawings. And I would think that those artists never made mistakes and all their drawings were just that good. But now that I've grown my art skills and I'm at the stage where I can create pretty good drawings, I still make mistakes. I still have off days where I just mess up, I layer the wrong colors for drawing or my sketching is just really wrong. But now I realize that that's just a, the reality of doing a creative hobby. Sometimes you experiment and it doesn't turn out right or you have an off day or just make just a human error. But that doesn't mean that you are a rubbish artist. So don't be hard on yourself when you're starting out. Make mistakes because learning from these mistakes is what's gonna make you a better artist. And remember that artists on Instagram rarely post you know, their worst drawings or the times they've messed up. They pretty much only post their best drawings that they've done or the things they're most proud of. Whereas in the background, even the masters of art that you see, they will make so many mistakes from trying out new things or just having bad days. So don't worry if you too are not making amazing drawings whenever you pick up your pencils. It's okay if you just create a bad drawing, just keep going and move past it and start the next one and reflect on what you didn't like about that artwork and critique it and figure out where the weaknesses are so that you can improve next time. But don't be so hard on yourself when you're starting out. 
The next thing that I'll tell myself as a beginner artist is that you don't need really expensive supplies to make great artwork. I would tell myself this because I know that when I started out and I wanted to get into coloured pencils, I thought I needed really expensive professional supplies in order to make great artwork. I thought that this is what separated like children's looking drawings from professional coloured pencil artworks. I thought it was these pencils because that's what I saw all the artists on YouTube and Instagram using. They were always using Prismacolor or Polychromos or even more expensive pencils. So I thought that before I started, I needed these sets of pencils. And this was a mistake because I put off actually getting started with my colour pencil journey until I could afford these pencils when really you can create great artwork with any supplies because what's more important is your skills, you know, how you're layering those colours, the colours you're choosing and the values and the techniques that you're using. These things are all more important than the actual supplies themselves. Now, of course, you can create even better artwork with great supplies and your supplies will enhance your art. But that doesn't mean that you can't create decent artwork with cheap supplies or that you should hold off getting started with your art journey just because you don't have the most expensive supplies yet. So, for example, I did a video recently where I tried to draw something really realistic with just Crayola pencils and I was able to create something realistic because it's more about the skills that you, you learn rather than the supplies you use. I would definitely suggest as a beginner artist that you just use whatever supplies you have available to you and get started making art with them. And then if you want, you can upgrade your supplies over time when it makes sense for you to do that. But definitely don't feel like you have to have super expensive pencils in order to make great art. One of the things I tell myself as a beginner artist is that there's so many different ways that you can make a living as an artist. So many different types of art careers that you could have. Because I remember when I started to take art seriously and I wanted to turn it into a career, I definitely thought that the, the only sort of ways that you could make a decent live if, living from it would be to do commissions or sell prints of your artwork or merchandise of your art. And I just didn't really realize that there was lots of other options out there. And this actually led me to creating art that didn't really fit my style. I always loved doing realism, but I thought that I'd have to sell prints of original art and I'd have to start creating original type of art and concepts in order to put them on mugs or t-shirts or to sell prints and I'd have to start up an Etsy store because that's what I saw everyone else doing. So I thought that's the only way to make a living as an artist online. And so that's what I started to do. I started to shift my style and create art that I thought that I needed to make in order to make a living rather than the type of art that I preferred making, which was realism. And I'll tell myself a lot sooner if I could that it's okay, just do what you love to do, the style that you love to create, because there's so many different options out there as an artist nowadays that you can make a living no matter what type of art you do. There will be a niche and a market for it somewhere. And I think the last thing that I tell myself as a beginner artist is that you don't need to carry around a sketchbook everywhere with you and sketch every day in order to be a real artist. I think that when sketching tour videos became trendy and all these videos on, you know, sketching every day or 30 minutes in my sketchbook every day type of videos, I think they made artists, especially beginner artists, feel like in order to be a real artist, you need to always be inspired to draw, always have your sketchbook with you when you go out and about in case you get hit by inspiration and just have to stop and draw something. And I definitely felt that when I was a beginner that I'd need to draw in a sketchbook and have these sort of sketching sessions to be a real artist. But I never really enjoyed it. I definitely preferred sitting down and working on longer drawings with reference photos, you know, super realistic pieces that could even take me 50 hours. 
I much preferred to draw that than just quick sketches out and about and that never was really me but I tried to force myself to do it because that's what I thought real artists did. And so I definitely tell myself as a beginner artist that you don't need to take a sketchbook everywhere or even have a sketchbook at all to be a real artist. It's not that important and you don't need to sketch every single day in order to be an artist. You can draw as often as you want. Even now as a full-time artist, I don't have time to draw every single day. There's some weeks that go past where I don't draw at all because I've got so many other things to do. Just do what works for you. Do the type of drawings that you want to do. If you love using a sketchbook, great. Go ahead and sketch as much as you want. But if it just isn't for you, then don't force yourself to do it just because you feel like you have to. And I think that's the moral of all of these sort of five things that I tell myself as a beginner artist. I think the moral is just to listen to yourself more as an artist and not listen to what other people say that you should be doing. And just do what you want to do rather than what you think that you should be doing. Draw for as long as you want, draw the type of things that you want to draw and just have fun with it. Let me know in the comments section what your experiences are as a beginner artist. Is there any of these things that you can relate to? Do you have an art teacher that's just telling you that you shouldn't do things a certain way? Or did you think that you could only make a living as an artist if you sold your art prints? Let me know what you thought of this video and if there's anything that you can relate to. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.